Counting equal groups. Learning target. Counts groups of equal quantity using concrete objects up to 50 and writes an equivalent expression. How many blocks are there? There are 10 blocks. Do you still remember the equal symbol? What about as many as? Can you think of objects that come in equal groups? Understand. What can you say about the number of goldfish in each aquarium? There are three aquariums. Each aquarium has four goldfishes. There are three groups. And there are four in each group. We can say that there are three groups of four. This is an example of an expression or a mathematical phrase. To form this expression, we first count the number of equal groups. Then, the number of objects in each group. Let us study another example. Equivalent expression. Six groups of two. There are six groups with two equal objects in each group. How many groups are there? How many are there in each group? How many is six groups of two? Equivalent expression, 8 groups of 5. How many groups are there? There are 8 groups. How many are there in each group? Eight groups of five. How many is eight groups of five? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. Skip count by fives to find out how many objects are there in all. 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. There are 40 eggs in 8 groups of 5. How many books are there in each box? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 books in each box. How many boxes are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 boxes. Five plus five plus five plus five plus five is equal to twenty five. There are twenty five books in five boxes. Try this. Write an equivalent expression for each. Three group. Of five. Four groups of ten. Three groups of ten. Remember, when writing an expression for groups with equal quantities, we first count the number of groups with the same number of objects. Then, we count the number of objects in each group. Think 
Thank you for listening. You may now proceed to your next task. Goodbye!